to address the Senate. Is there objection? Chair is none. Senator may proceed. Uh, Mr. President, the, um, I just wanted to respond to a few things. Like the, uh, I, I'm, I'm representing Marshall County, Tyler County, Wetzel County, Doddridge County. These are a lot of gas producing counties. Uh, many other counties as well. Calhoun has some gas in it. Gilmer has some gas in it. Marion, western part of Mon. So, uh, and, and it's been asked, who wants Code Tennessee? Well, I know that answer because I've, I've done a lot of research on this. I wrote an op-ed last week on it, and I've talked to a lot of people. I'll tell you who wants it. The F West Virginia Farm Bureau, who represents the citizens of West Virginia, want the Code Tennessee. Okay? The Royalty Owners Association that represents the citizens of West Virginia want Code Tennessee. The Surface Owners Association that represent the citizens of West Virginia, they want the code tenancy. This is not, it's not forced pulling or lease integration or any of those other, it, it's different. It was attached to the hip to some of that stuff that people don't want in the past. This code tenancy bill is a good bill. And for those that don't think it is, for the citizens of West Virginia, and I'm in the richest gas producing county there is, they need to call the Farm Bureau in their office, call the Rural Owners Association in their office, and call the Surface Owners Association in their office, because those are the people that represent the citizens, and I must admit they represent them quite well, and they want this bill because it's a good bill for the citizens of West Virginia, and it also has a funding source for PEIA. And that's not why I wanted to get up in the first place, but I wanted to address that, because that's a good piece of legislation, and I would love to explain it to anybody. I've explained it to many of my constituents who thought it was a bad bill, and by the time we got done talking, like, wow, thank you for telling me that. That's a good bill. Uh, as far as the pay raise bill, I would vote for that pay raise bill right now if we were voting on it, but I would much rather hear that bill in finance. I'd much rather hear some other options in finance, let everyone have an input on, on it. And at the end of the day, next week, after we've discussed it and, and done the due diligence of the committee process, I would either vote for it, like I feel today, or if there's a better alternative that other people like and keeps a 2-1-1 and does something for PIA, then I'd vote for that. Right now, I don't think I'd, I would veer from the, the pay raise bill, but I want to hear the options. The, the easiest vote that I've ever made, there, there's a lot of hard votes on this floor, but the, the easiest votes I've ever made, and I'll probably make another one today, is the vote to bypass the due diligence of the committee process and and hear these bills in committee as opposed to just voting on them today without everyone getting their say. To me, that's, that's a slap in the face to the process, and that's the, that's the easiest vote. I'd, I will vote to not hear that bill immediately today. I am in favor of that bill. I am in favor of the pay raise bill as it sits today. But I'm also in favor of hearing about it in the committee, hearing other options, going through the process. And if, if everyone wants to stay down here during that process, that's, that's fine. They're, I respect their right to be here and be a part of the process. But I don't think just because there's a pressure on us that we should bypass our normal process. In, in the medical field, anytime you get in a hurry and you start taking shortcuts, you make mistakes. And people's lives are affected. Well, guess what? In the same fashion, people's lives are affected. That pay raise bill, they deserve it. They all deserve it. And they might get it. But there might be a better option. Let's explore it. And at the end of the committee process, let's bring it out here and vote in a normal fashion like we normally would. And that's, that's, just my, that's just the way I feel about it. So I'll be happy to stand up today to not discharge that bill. I mean, because, because, but it's not because I'm against the bill. It's because I'm against bypassing the normal process. Thank you, Mr. President. Communications from the House.